the person in pop culture that I chose to talk about during this video discussion is JK Rowling. Uh, she is best known for Harry Potter. She also has written other books at, under a pseudonym of Robert Galbraith, which they're pretty good as well if you haven't read them. Uh, her diagnosis is depression, and I believe from the list of the website that the main thing that lets me know that she's talking about depression, she said it's not sadness. It's the low, empty feeling, and a lot of people just think that depression is sadness, and it's not. And the fact that she said that makes me know that she's probably been diagnosed with depression. I'm not sure how mental how her mental illness has affected her craft because well I don't know some of them are dark her uh, pseudonym books they're kind of dark a lot of them deals with murder and some of them are pretty disturbing murders and she kills somebody in most of the books so that may have something to do with it the fact that she writes about darker stuff and that it's not happily bubbly and like you would see with Nicholas Sparks. But who knows if he has dealt with depression. Because that, that can show in a lot of people's work. If I were a mental health professional, I might use their creativity. Might try to see if she could write something more upbeat, maybe. But... I mean, writing, di my, writing the way she does may help express her low feelings without having to, you know, do something in her true life to have to deal with it. Maybe the way that she writes is her way of dealing with her depression. And I believe that how she has chosen to deal with it to use her writing and to write dark stuff and she's I mean she's been in the media for negative things so maybe that has something to do with it too but I think that she has found a good outlet for it thank you